hello everyone so in today's class that i am going to discuss uh, the em algorithm right so in many practical learning settings only a subset of the relevant instance features might be observable for example uh, in training or in using the bayesian belief networks so that i am going to discuss in uh, the next class that is uh, bayesian belief networks so there we might have data where only a subset of network variables storm lightning thunder forest fire campfire and the bus tour group that have been observed so many approaches have been proposed to handle the problem of learning in the presence of unobserved variables so as we have seen in the previous chapters if some variable is sometimes observed and sometimes not observed then we can use the cases for which it has uh, been observed to learn to predict its value when it is not so in this section as uh, we will describe the em algorithm a widely used approach to learning in presence of unobserved variables so the em algorithm can be used even for the variables whose value is never directly observed provided the general form of the probability distribution governing these variables is known here the em algorithm has been used to train bayesian belief networks as well as uh, the radial basis function networks which was uh, discussed in the previous section so the em algorithm is also the basis for many unsupervised clustering algorithms and it is the basis for widely used Uh, some of the forward backward algorithm for uh, learning the partial observable models so now i will discuss about uh, estimating means of uh, k gaussians with respect to the em algorithm here the easiest way to introduce the em algorithm is via an example now consider a problem in which the data d is a set of instances generated by a probability distribution that is a mixture of k distinct normal distributions so this problem setting as it is uh, illustrated in this figure here for the case where k equal to 2 and where the instances are the points shown along the x axis here each instance is generated using a two step process so first step is one of the k normal distributions is selected at random and second step is a single random instance xi is generated according to the selected distribution so this process is repeated so this process is repeated to generate a set of data points as uh, it was shown in this figure here you can see the generation of Uh, set up data points right so to simplify our uh, discussion we consider a special case where the selection of the single normal distribution at each step is based on choosing each with uniform probability where each of the k normal distributions has the same variance that is uh, sigma square and where a sigma square is a unknown value here the learning task is to output a hypothesis that is h equal to mu1 comma mu2 and so on up to mu k that describes the means of each of the k distributions so we would like to find a maximum likelihood hypothesis for this means that is a hypothesis h which will maximize p of d bar h so here you can note that uh, it is very easy to calculate the maximum likelihood hypothesis for the mean of a single normal distribution given the observed data instances x1 x2 x3 and so on up to xm which is uh, drawn from the single distribution so this problem of finding the mean of a single distribution is just a special case of a problem which was uh, discussed in the previous section so here uh, we have shown that 
the maximum likelihood hypothesis is uh, the one that minimizes the sum of squared errors over m training instances now we have uh, the equation that is a mu ml equal to arg min summation xi minus mu whole square where i equal to 1 to m mu so in this case the the sum of squared errors is minimized by sample mean is represented as uh, mu ml is equal to 1 by m summation xi where i equal to 1 to m uh, our problem here is however it involves a mixture of k different normal distributions and we cannot observe uh, which instances were generated by uh, which distribution hence we have a prototypical example of a problem involving the hidden variables so in the example that is in the previous example as uh, we can think of a full a description of each instance as a the triple that is xi comma z i1 comma z i2 where xi is the observed value of i instance and z i1 and z i2 indicate which of the two normal distributions was used to generate the value x in particular z ij has the value 1 if xi was created by jth normal distribution and 0 uh, otherwise here xi is the observed variable in the description of the instance here xi is the observed variable in the description of the instance and z i1 and z i2 are the hidden variables if the values of z i1 and z i2 were observed then we could use uh, the previous equation that is uh, equation 1 so this particular uh, equation to solve for the means mu1 and mu2 so mu1 and mu2 are the mean here because uh, they are not uh, where we will instead use the em algorithm so applied to our k-means problem the em algorithm search for a maximum likelihood hypothesis by repeatedly re-estimating the expected values of the hidden variables that is uh, z ij which uh, is uh, given its uh, current hypothesis that is a uh, mu1 mu2 mu3 and so on up to mu1 then recalculating the maximum likelihood hypothesis using these expected values for the hidden variables so we'll first describe this instance of em algorithm then later we'll state the em algorithm in its general form so when it is applied to the problem of estimating the two means as it was shown in the figure the em algorithm first initializes the hypothesis to h equal to mu1 comma mu2 something like that where mu1 and mu2 are the arbitrary initial values so it then iteratively re-estimate h by repeating the following two steps that is uh, these two steps until the procedure converges to a stationary value for h so em algorithm is having uh, these two main steps the first step is calculate the expected value that is e of z i j of each hidden variable z i j assuming the current hypothesis h as mu1 comma mu2 holds so step two calculate a new maximum likelihood hypothesis that is h dash equal to mu1 dash comma mu2 dash assuming the value taken on by each hidden variable z i j is its expected value that is uh, e of z i j calculated in step 1 so then it will replace the hypothesis h equal to mu1 comma mu2 by a new hypothesis h dash which is equal to mu1 dash comma mu2 dash and it will uh, iterate until the procedure converges to a stationary value for h so these are the two main steps in uh, em algorithm now let us examine uh, how both of these steps can be implemented in practice so step one must calculate the expected value of each z i j so this e of z i j is just the probability that uh, instance x i was generated by the jth normal distribution that is e of z i j is equal to p of x equal to x i 
bar mu equal to mu j whole divided by summation a p of x equal to x i bar mu equal to mu n or uh, n ranges from 1 to 2 which is further simplified as small e raised to minus 1 by 2 sigma square into x i minus mu j square whole divided by summation e raised to minus 1 divided by 2 sigma square x i minus mu n square or n ranges from 1 to 2 so thus uh, the first step is implemented by substituting the current values that is uh, mu 1 comma mu 2 and observed x i into the above expression in the second step as we use the e of z i j which is calculated during step 1 to derive a new maximum likelihood hypothesis that is z dash equal to mu 1 dash comma mu 2 dash here the maximum likelihood hypothesis in this case is given by mu j equal to summation e of z i into x i where i equal to 1 to m over divided by yes. summation e of z i j where i equal to 1 to m so here uh, we can note that uh, this expression is similar to the sample mean from one of the previous equation that is uh, used to estimate mu for a single normal distribution so our new expression is just the weighted sample mean for mu j with each instance weighted by the expectation that is e of z i j that uh, it was generated by j normal distribution so the above algorithm for estimating the means of a mixture of k normal distributions illustrate the essence of em approach so the current hypothesis is used to estimate the unobserved variables and the expected value of these variables are then used to calculate the improved hypothesis so it can be proved that on each iteration through this loop the em algorithm increases the likelihood that is the p of d bar h unless it is at a local maximum so the algorithm uh, hence it converges to a local maximum likelihood hypothesis for mu1 and mu2 so this is all about uh, the em algorithm right and in the next class that i am going to discuss the bayesian belief networks or uh, the bayesian networks so that will complete this model that is fourth model thank you